Thanking your highness. Welcome to the orphanage and my humble office. Thank you. If you don't mind, sir, we'll keep records of all our visitors here and the items they visited us with. I don't mind. of invest of Lagos, two bags of rice, five cutters of detergent, five cutters of soap, and 500,000 naira. Wow. Are you saying you're a student? Yes, I am a prince and a student as well. Hmm. A very king prince indeed. I turned 27 and uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank God for the blessings he's shown me in my past 27 years on earth. And I believe that the inmates here deserve to be happy as I am, don't you think? Of course they do. Thanks for remembering us on your special day, Your Highness. God bless you and happy birthday. You're welcome. Sister Rhoda, the guest is ready to see you and the kids now. Okay?
I'm sorry to interrupt your thoughts again, Paris. This is the third time I'm passing outside your bedroom, seeing your lights on. So I decided to call my another problem. Why you can't sleep or read your book? But of course, you know your regret time is forty hours approaching. So what is it? Why can't you sleep? I'm confused. You're confused? About what? Forget it. <sighs> your Highness. I am not just your personal guard. I'm also mandated by His Majesty, your father, to always be with you as your personal advisor and... Look, uh, I'm okay. It's too late for that lecture, okay? Not to want the crown prince of my kingdom, whose safety and welfare is my primary responsibility. Can I sleep nor read his book as a student this late into the night? Come on, what is it? What is eating you? Talk to me. Oh, God, what's happening to me? My prince, please um, put yourself together, okay? I'm trying. And I've been since we left the orphanage this afternoon. I just cannot. My prince, you need to know that the degree exam is fast approaching, commences in just two weeks, and you're here telling me that you... Come on, please, put yourself together, okay? Damn you and the exams! Here am I, trying to battle with the feeling that it's about to destroy every virtue and belief that I have been taught since childhood. And you're blabbing on about some bloody exams? I'm trying to get my sanity back! You're, you're beginning to scare me, Your Highness. Are you in danger? Come on, talk to me. Are you in any trouble? Open up, talk to me. Tell me, what is it? What is eating you this deep? I am in. I'm in love. Sounds crazy, right? I know. Everything is just crazy. I allowed myself to be a victim of love at first sight. And the object of that love, it's a Catholic nun. A reverend sister at that. Are <laughs> you joking, aren't you? I didn't only hopelessly fall in love with the nun at the orphanage this afternoon. I invited her to come visit me. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Please drink this. What is it? It's holy water. Drink it. I'm bow down your head. Let me anoint you with a oil. You know, I'm pretty sure you evil thoughts. Out of your mind. Yes. You've been possessed by the devil. Drink it. Justified in every sense, but why did you insist yesterday that I should come to your house? I mean, what do you want from me? Do you want to hear it without mincing of words? Okay. I love you, Sister Ivy, and I'm not crazy. No, I'm not. It's just that. I've never had 
strong feeling for any woman like I feel about you. And that feeling invaded me yesterday, my entire being, when I saw you at the orphanage. And even now as we speak, it's just getting stronger and stronger. It was so strong, it kept me away from my books yesterday. And every time I try to to take the thought away, it's... Do you have some such problem, Your Highness? <laughs> Call me Rogers, please. And to answer your question, I have no such problem. You mean that you saw me very well yesterday and that you are seeing me very well here too? Yes. I saw an angel that captivated my heart yesterday. And I'm still seeing clearly now. And you are seeing the robe I am wearing? Yes, I do. I know where you're going. Listen, I'm also a Catholic. Or a devil in a Holy Roman Catholic Church. I feel the devil is not capable of loving. The devil is capable of lust, Rogers. This is part of destruction you are working on. And God forbid I should work it with you. Excuse me. Look, Ivy. It was said that the wind blows where it wants to blow and no one can stop it. The Holy Spirit is like the wind. And those were the words of Pope John Paul II to the leaders of Cuba a few years ago. Now, picture this. Love is like the wind. Not you, not me, not even the oath of celibacy that you took can stop it from growing where it wants to grow. Let me pray for you. I'll give you a hug and then you can pray for me afterwards. Your soul is suffering, Rogers. Is yours at ease? I can see it in your eyes. You are agitated. Look, Sister Ivy. Together, let's end this mutual spiritual turmoil. With just a hug. May God forgive us. God, how can I be having this type of sinful encounters with him in my dream every night in the past six days? I changed my phone number blocking him from getting me on the phone and gave instruction that he should never be allowed into this orphanage again. That has effectively made it impossible for him to talk to me or even meet with me again. Poor God. I'm in love with him too. I'm a reverend sister God. Please take this sinful cup away from me. To know where you are. Please, not now. I'm not just your personal guard. What is bothering you? What is I it? Am... I said I am fine. Just let me be. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Emeka. Look, I'm sorry. I, you're right. I'm in a very bad mood. And I know I ought to be on campus having fun with my friends, my graduation day and all of that, but my heart.
heart is too heavy for such. Is it still about Sister Ivy? Yes! I just cannot get the lady out of my mind. Can you not allow me to advise you on this? No. Keep your advice for now. I... I wrote this letter and I want you to go to the orphanage and give it to her personally. And until she collects it, you do not come back. Stands to. That's what happens. Expecting to hear from me again after the way you left my house. You have done everything to make sure we don't see or talk to each other ever again. But the love I have for you for the past five weeks has flogged me with a cane, stabbed me with a dagger, shot me with a gun, and fed me with the most potent poison. Yet I have refused to die. Please come and help me kill it or give it a true healthy life I have just graduated from the university today and would be returning to my kingdom in two days time the only thing I would consider more tragic than my own death now is if you will refuse to see me tomorrow from 10 a.m. tomorrow I will be in my car three blocks away from the gate of the orphanage waiting for you Save my poor, troubled soul, please. Come and meet me in there, so that we can go somewhere and talk things over. I beg you in the name of Mary, the mother of God, please, don't say no. Prince, Burgess. happening to me. God, please help me in this temptation. Ah, sister Ivy, you requested to see me. Yes, Sister Rhoda. I am in urgent need of private moment with God. The chapel is open. Or do you want me to come and pray with you? No, thanks. Then you may go. I want to go and pray before the Blessed Sacrament at Cathedral's Chapel. The Cathedral? Are you in some kind of trouble? God will restore my peace of mind once I go before him in prayers at Cathedral's Chapel. Be it unto you according to thy words. Amen. you 
showing up. You don't know how much this means to me. Where are we going? Well, I want to take you somewhere very peaceful and beautiful. Wait. What are you doing? You do not expect me to follow a man like you in your car to wherever it is you are taking me to my room, do you? What? Ivy, you're an angel. Move the car. Yeah. This is it. What do you think about the place? It is it's beautiful and peaceful. Yeah. And good for soul searching too. Very calm. Hey, come have some more soul. Come on. Come. Nice, right? What do you really want from me? Soul freedom. For you or for me? Both of us. I don't know about you, but what you have done since the day we met was to imprison my soul in a cage of guilt. Ivy, what are you guilty about? I lied to Sister Rhoda just to be here with you. Do you know how spiritually debased such could make a known feel? Why not go, Your Highness, and allow me to fight this spiritual battle alone, Your Highness? My name is Ruchas, okay? And I cannot leave you alone. I cannot do that. I try to fight love on my own. But obviously, I was utterly defeated by the army of love. Ivy, come. Let's fight love together. So we can prevail together. Or lose to love together. That's the only way we can find ourselves out of this emotional quagmire we find ourselves in. I am not doing spiritually better than you are. What applies to you applies to me. I'm not doing any better. Come, walk with me. Let's take a walk. Come on. Promise me that you will not try that again. Ivy, let's walk, please. Promise me that. Look, listen, I'm a prince. And I cannot make such promises, things that I'm not sure about. I'm a Catholic nun, Your Highness. Okay, Ivy, are you going to walk with me 
Or should I take you back to the orphanage? No. I told Sister Rhoda that I'll be spending some hours where I told her I was going to. Okay, so let me take you to that place then. You want us to work holding hands, right? I will not take the hand of an angry lady. Necessary for the survival of every single living thing. And the most important factor for natural harmony. Yet this peaceful, harmless looking thing is one weapon in nature's arsenal that not even the most powerful man-made weapon can contest its destructive force. That's the irony of water. The irony is also true about love. True love. Now, how can you and I handle what we have for each other to nourish our souls like water does when it's properly applied? than to destroy our peace, joy, and lives as water does when there is a deluge or tsunami. If I know the answer to that question, I won't be here with you. There is one thing I am very sure of here, and that is that the type of earthquake you caused in my soul since you were met is such that it's going to produce a very devastating tsunami if you didn't help me now to stop it. Let's swim. I should swim with you. Are you out of your mind? There's a building at the far left where we can hire swimsuits. Let's rent some. Swim. Now, we will we dry ourselves. I have a room in this hotel. So are we doing it?
Ivy, I'm sorry. Please stop crying. Look, I understand how you feel about the situation. How dare you lie to me that you understand how I feel, you devil. Do you know the special implication of what we just did for every sister like me? God. What have I done? Look. You have just employed one of the most precious gifts God has given to mankind. Your free will. Free will? Free will to disgrace myself at the church of God in this sinful manner. God. I feel like killing you and committing suicide here. Really? Use this. It's a handy weapon. Use it and kill me. Kill me and kill yourself. And let's face God together. I want to watch you explain to him that murder and suicide are more preferable to you than spiritual freedom and self-expression, which is exactly what happened between you and I today. Go ahead. I greet you, leaders of Alabama Kingdom. I know you'll be asking me your mind. How come a man who presided over the real cabinet meeting could be said to be normal a few hours later? To be brief, His Royal Majesty collapsed while discussing a private family matter with me. What a shocking tragedy. It is true that my elder brother, His Royal Majesty, Yigwe Adiele Okeke, Anyangwo the seventh of Alabama Kingdom. There's no more.
you once told me that a royal doesn't cry in the open. He was never sick. He just went suddenly. Absolutely. It's okay. It's fine. Please sit. It's okay. It's all right. You'll be fine. your son, but also as my father, and you can see and touch and remember. It's okay. Try the tears. Thank you. Okay. I want to see my father. how difficult it is for you. But you need to be strong. Thank you. Dad, how could you do this? How could you? I just graduated. And I was on my way back to tell you. <laughs> Instead of you, be hugging me. Congratulating me on my success. Look at me. <laughs> Drenching your noble body. Tears of grief. Oh, daddy. <coughs> God. <laughs> well, now I'm back. And I'm going to take over. Just as you wish. And it's the tradition of our people. I pray you be with me and guide me. And I promise you that I will make this kingdom greater than it was during your reign. I need your protection. I still can't believe that. <laughs> I swear to you, 
I swear to you today that I'll be the best that I can be. You look so sad. I have a letter for you. You've been redeployed to draw this book, your home city. Why so sad? It? For it. You did. Sister Ivy, I've been watching you the past eight days. You've been in a very low spirit and quite upset minded. Is this something you're not telling me? It's not a sister, Rhoda. Maybe I've become homesick of late. I see. I'm leaving for South Africa tomorrow. So fast? Is. It's, it's nothing. I, I have to. Well, it's been exceptional working with you here. And uh, I'm sure everybody, including the kids, will miss you. And I will miss you too. I would like you to pray for my letter today. Sure, I will. I will. Once I come back from the bishop's office, I'll, I'll pray with you, okay? Elders of Obama Kingdom, I want to thank you all, and especially the good people of this kingdom, for your immense support to my family since my father left us last week to answer the call of his ancestors. As the crown prince of this kingdom, I know what it takes. And I totally know what is expected of me with regards to the empty throne. I know that even as a crown prince, there are strict rules and regulations with regards to ascending the throne. And that is why I've called for this meeting that the gray hairs of this kingdom can properly brief me on the succession process. Mm. Hello. Uh, the, the, this question is for the council. And as the traditional prime minister, you speak. Your Highness. Words were what your noble mouth produced. Wisdom was what we heard. It is the wise that admit ignorance of a subject matter before men of lesser status to him. Who are we not to do what the next animal of Abama Kingdom wants? May you live long. And you too. Now to your request. No one can mount this throne without your father being committed to the Mother Earth. Not even you can do that, even after his burial, without being fully married. Bearing that in mind, the elders here mandated me to ask you, have you any maiden 
in your mind at the moment your highness can my father be buried without me getting married first of course yes he could right then let's start the burial arrangements immediately all right what about your marriage uh, they asking if if Mary Charles Uncle I know what was asked I heard them My father's funeral and my marriage are two different events sad and happy respectively and I feel that they should not be discussed together Having said that Uncle I'm putting you in charge you and Ono in charge of the barrier arrangements please get back to me every step of the way mm. as your highness pleases this meeting is over thank you ever Is anything the matter? Yes. Your sudden return from Nigeria. I made calls to our parish priest and our bishop earlier today. And both denied having any prior information that you were coming back. What is going on? Oh, there is nothing that the Archdiocese of Lagos didn't it fit to post me back to my home diocese here in South Africa. That's all. And they did so without communicating with the diocese and leadership down here. IV, you have been wearing this hard expression since you came back earlier. When we walked in here a while ago, we met you sitting down and brooding instead of sleeping. There was someone who should be having a jet lag. And it is past 11 p.m. Tell us, what happened in Nigeria? Are you in trouble? No, I, I, I was just missing the kids at the orphanage. There is nothing serious. Okay. I will make a few calls in the morning and have you posted back to that orphanage please. immediately. Don't, Dad. Please. I, I, I am done there. I, I want a new challenge here. That is what I came back for. In fact, I was placing the requested for my redeployment. Yes, I did. I feel. I am a well-respected man in Catholic Church in this country and the whole of Johannesburg. And I do not need to remind you of how much I value my reputation. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that I cannot do to protect it. Same goes for your brother Nelson. If there's something that is going on that is capable of bringing this family's name to disrepute, you better tell us. Don't hide it from us. or. Let's go, son. Dad. That's it. Please. There is... There is... What have I got myself into, eh? Eyes. Restless mind. And now, press from my family. God, please save me.
Emily is the one I love. She's my fiance. And there is nothing, nothing you can do about it. I know everything about her. I know her whole story. That relationship will not work. Not as long as I live. Oh yeah? Then get ready for the show. Oh, Midnight Toast. My wife, yeah, Emerson. On Midnight Toast, when a godly and lovely family takes some wise counsel. Then stop serving him dinner. As a matter of fact, stop serving him what he eats. Because I'm telling you the truth. You are in no position to know what the truth is. He turns out to be. On Midnight Toast, as it is in Engineer Harry and Erin, whose happy home was thrown into a chaos. Due to the political involvement with the attendant reckless abandon. I have almost grown a monster waiting for you to come move your crappy car off of my way. On Midnight Toast, we will, will the past love heal the wound? Find out from this blockbuster from the stable of SeaWorld Productions Limited. Hey, 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 Midnight Toast, starring Messi Johnson, Van Becker, Chibola Dabo. Produced by Utena Nwankwo and directed by Ikenna Aniekwe. Marketed nationwide by SeaWorld Movies Nigeria Limited. Midnight Toasts. Grab your copy now. <laughs>
Yes, mom. I am in love with a certain lady in Lagos. Lagos? Of what tribe is she? Mother, am I forbidden to marry from a particular tribe? Well, if that is the answer, then I don't think there's a need for us to discuss where she's from. But rather, the question should be, is she a good girl? And to that I will say a big yes. Yet, there is a problem, Mom. What problem? I haven't asked her to marry me yet, and I do not know if she will easily agree when I do. She's a special kind of girl, a royal material, a queen material. Well, does this special lady love you? Yes, ma'am, she does, but... Rochas, please, there's no time for you to start wooing the woman now. Just forget about that lady. Mother. Are you asking me to forget about a lady that I madly love? For who? Rogers, your father and I had a virtuous lady in mind for you before he died. I will just invite her over so that you can Mother, see. Mother, stop it. Please stop it. Not even an angel sent from heaven can take the place of the lady that I love. I am going to marry her. I will find her. I must marry her. Rogers, your father is no more. And you're the crown prince of the kingdom. As such, the fate of the people's throne is in your hands. The implication is that you cannot leave the kingdom until the vacuum on the throne is properly filled. Unless the royal cabinet authorizes you to, which I, I doubt they would. Mother, my royal status will be meaningless to me if I cannot have the lady that I so desire to be my queen. The cabinet will have to understand that. Otherwise, I will force them to understand with a royal decree. The entire funeral ceremony went very well. From planning to finish, it was wonderful. Everything went according to plan. And I must thank all of you for your selfless efforts in that regard. Um, may our ancestors reward you all accordingly. Now, having said that, let me tackle the question that I was asked about my marital plans. Well, yes, I do have a maiden in mind, but convincing her to marry me will prove quite difficult. Um, but whose daughter is she? 
so we can talk to her on your behalf through her family? Well, Uncle, um, matters concerning her, I really wish to treat as a private affair. Besides, she's not from this kingdom. My Prince, time is of the essence here. There is a limit to the period the throne can remain vacant, according to our culture. Well, how much time do I have? Twelve calendar months. Twelve calendar months. So who will be in charge of uh, the matters concerning the kingdom within that period? Um, well, our royal tradition allows you to appoint either your mother or your uncle, Enimba, to preside over the affairs of the kingdom as a regent till you come back and get married and coronated as king. If the regency arrangement is chosen by you, it, however, must not last more than one year. If after one year you are not around to mount the throne, then you automatically lose it to your stepbrother, Prince Charles. Oh no, I don't see the need for that lengthy explanation. His Highness is not going anywhere. Are you, my prince? Well, I must. If I must get married to be Igwe, I will have to look for the lady after my heart and convince her to marry me. But until then, what happens to... Uh, uh, my prince, uh, don't worry. I'll hold fort for you. Don't worry. Well, uncle, that is my decision alone to make. True word, my prince. Who have you chosen then? I want my mother to hold forth for me till I get back. Uh, uh, Prince, uh, uh, I say, uh, your mother is not in the right frame of mind to shoulder such a circular task. And it's not an easy thing to do for someone who is in her situation. Uh, because, um, Uncle, she's here. Can she speak for herself? Mom? For you and your late father, I'll do it. Thank you, Mom. Well, gentlemen, I want to have a private session with my mother. Thank you all for your time. <coughs> Roaches. At a time I thought that the throne I had schemed for for 25 years had become mine through your foolishness, you dared dash my hopes in such an insulting manner before the chiefs. That caused which of your mother, a mere woman, to become the regent of Abama Kingdom instead of me? No way. No giving up until the throne is mine. Yes, the throne must be mine. Roaches, for that throne, I strangled my aged father in the deep of the night, believing your father that he was not interested in becoming the Iwe. But two days to what would have been my coronation, your useless mother talked your father into taking the throne away from me. When the opportunity presented itself again last month, I poisoned your father and would have gone ahead to kill you, your mother, and your stepbrother. But for the insistence of the spirits, that even if I killed all of you, I must have to wait for another 25 years. Ah. 
I am placing your soul under my control. The moment you step out of this kingdom, you will never call anybody, including your mother, or ever think of returning home until I have effectively become the Igwe. Instead of the lady you're going for, you will meet with misfortune after misfortune, pains after pains, until whatever you put in your mouth gives you nothing but the bitter taste of hatred and disappointment. With this bottle, given to me by the Grand Master of Evil, from the deepest point of the deepest sea in the world, I seal this decree. And you're my rock. I will my rock. making me so weak this early in the day. When I went to bed early enough last night and I had a decent meal before that. So, what is making me so weak and dizzy now? God. The last thing I ever needed now is physical sickness on top of the depression one I've been having for past five weeks. Oh, God. Me, doctor, what is wrong with me? In the form you feel for us, you stated that you are a Catholic nun. Yes, yes, I am. Is anything the matter? You are a Catholic nun, and you had sexual affair with a man recently, Sister Ivy. Tell me the truth, Doctor. Have I been infected with a venereal disease? Far from that. The result of the test I carried out here showed that you're pregnant. <laughs> Back to 
you mean you ordered him to come here? What is going on? What's going on? Huh? Rogers is leaving the kingdom to woo his bride in faraway Lagos. And he needs someone to accompany him. In that regard, I, I think the best person to do that is his cousin, your son. No. My son is going nowhere. If the prince has to go for such a trip, get a land of the chief guard to accompany him. I don't want to go with the guard. Then do it alone. Let me tell you, when a bride is always a private affair. Not for royals, Enimba. Remember when my husband came to woo me? He came in your company and six guards. Or oh, have you forgotten how many people accompanied you to woo Alex's mother? Your Majesty, I have shared it on its final. My son is going nowhere with the prince. And what if I decree? For God's sake, Your Majesty, he's my only son. And, and I... so is Rogers to me. Enimba, he needs someone he can trust and confide in. Alex is not just his cousin, but they've been close friends since childhood. Enimba, if you care for your brother's son, let your son go with him. You won't understand, Your Majesty. This trip is dangerous. Dangerous? <laughs> Uncle, where is the danger here? Must you question everything I say as if I'm a commoner? Eh? L -l Let me just tell you. If you cannot find a suitable bride within this kingdom or around it, then consider this proposed trip of yours. A private cross to bear. Leave my son out of it. It's your cross. Leave my son. I want to go with him, Dad. Dad! Shut up your mouth! Dad. Rochas is the next ego of this kingdom. So what? And that calls for some measure of sacrifices from mostly us, his close relatives. How we respect his wishes and that of his mother would send a weak or strong signal to others on how they should regard them. Honor, love, duty and blood have called me to action in this case. And I must answer like a true man, like your real son. I am sorry to disobey you, Dad. What? Anyo Maruaku ni moka. Anyo Maruaku ni moka. Anyo Maruaku ni moka.
Gdać! Gdać! Dad and Nelson. Sorry I had to live like this without personally informing you. The truth is that I left Nigeria for home here to enable me recover from a spiritual crisis that enveloped me there recently. Everything is getting worse here. Before I make an ugly dent on your valued public image, I have decided to go to a monastery in Ethiopia to seek a spiritual peace and renewal. Please, don't bother looking for me because I wouldn't want any form of contact with anybody, including you, members of my immediate family, till I am satisfied that I am back on my feet spiritually again. Thanks for your understanding and may the good Lord continue to be with you. Amen. Sister Ivy. You said you found this in her room, Nelson? That her room was completely stripped of all her personal belongings. Ivy has exhibited enough strange behavior since she returned from Nigeria. And that I'm finding it difficult to believe whatever she said in this note. Dad, are you trying to say she's in some kind of trouble and she has been lying to us all this while? I have a serious hunch that she's into some kind of dirty scandal back in Nigeria. And she had to run back home and hide. Whatever it is she did must have come catching up with her here. And she had to run again. Dad, if your suspicion is right, I think we should find her and... and I'm Go and change into another clothes. Go to the airport and order transport terminal. Find out if she did leave this country or not. I have some calls to make. We must find her and clean up whatever mess she's into before it becomes public knowledge. I will do just that, Dad. Pray that whatever it is, it's not scandalous, Ivy, or I will kill you like I did your shameless mother some years back to pressure my honor and my family's name. I went to hell to become whom I am today, and nobody, not even members of my immediate family, will be allowed to mess anything up for me. I would rather be without a family than leave a disgraced man. That was why I engineered you into the convent when I observed that you have a feeble mind like your mother. If that couldn't keep you away from being a disgrace to me, then I will. I must. That's a very scary thing to say. I mean, what is going on? I... I'm pregnant. <gasps> you, you what? You, Ivy, a reverend sister, pregnant? I mean, how, how come? It's a long story. I'll tell you later, but please, I need a place to hide. Hide? <laughs> See, my dad and Nelson will kill me if they get to know about this. Even if they don't, A religious and social outcast the moment the news goes public. Please, 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 you must help me. 
You are the only true friend I have since our childhood. You are like my own blood sister. See, if you refuse to accommodate me here, I have no other option than to commit suicide. Accommodate you in this house? For crying out loud, I think this is my family house. I know. I know, Susie. But your parents and siblings are currently living in the United States. Please. Help me, please. For the sake of our friendship and for the sake of the innocent baby in my womb. But I think this is very... It's going to be very beautiful. I know. I know. I know you can do it for me. Please. Please. I need Once again, you are welcome to the orphanage, Your Highness. Thank you. You asked to see me. Well, actually, I'm here to look for Sister Ivy. Sister Ivy? If I may ask, Your Highness, why do you want to see her? Well, Sister Rhoda, I really don't want to discuss that with you. She's an ordained Catholic nun, Your Highness, and she once worked under me. What do you mean, once worked under you? Why do you want to see her immediately? You really want to know? Yes. Well, I think that it was a big mistake for her to wear the Catholic nun's robe in the first place. God have mercy. Why did you say that? Because I'm in love with her. From the very first day that I saw her, and the first day that she saw me, it, it was a mutual feeling. And, and, and we've been meeting since. One thing led to another. We actually even made love. Yes, and, and believe me, we have been trying to fight that feeling, but I strongly believe that God himself made Ivy for me, and that's why I'm here to ask her in marriage. Your Highness, Sister Ivy is already married to our Lord Jesus Christ. How could you be so irresponsible to defile a virgin set aside for the Most High God? How could you? That is the problem. That is one of the church's utopian doctrinal nonsense that has gone a long way to do nothing but fill young girls' hearts, like Ivy, with nothing but gloom and unfulfilled natural human cravings. That's the problem. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Save the Most High God. Who told you that God wants human wives in the first place? Thank God who gave her the wisdom to return to South Africa in search of her spiritual peace and to get away from the influence of the devil tools like you. Get out of my office! Sister Rhoda, I love Ivy. Get out! Sister Rhoda, I just need you to tell me where she is. That's all I'm asking. She will set aside for good. Forget her and let's go back home, please. Please. Alex, stay away from me. Stay away from me. She was set aside for God. When God himself sent her to me to get married to, he did that in his infinite wisdom. Now who are you or that buffoon of a reference sister ask me to stay away from her? Now you listen to me, Rogers. For I am now talking to you not as your subject, but as your first cousin who truly really loves you. You are deluding yourself. You are caught in disaster. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That is the word of God. And he is too big for you to struggle for a woman with. Stop this madness now or you definitely suffer. Stop it. Are you done? Are you finished? Well, I am going to South Africa tonight in search of Ivy. And you don't have a choice. You're going with me. I will never do that. You will. I... You must.
give me your handset. I will return your original line to you when we come back from South Africa. Okay. What? Alex, I need you to swear. Swear by the blood of a royal prince of our kingdom that you will not disclose to anyone our whereabouts neither will you disclose the real identity of ivy that she's a nun not even after i have married her swear You just said may the gods strike me dead. Now remember, it's a royal decree. This is madness, Rogers. This is a silly mistake, and you're making it, Rogers. Alex, go to your room. What? Go to your room. This is this is a, a silly mistake you're making. But he didn't believe me either. How do you mean? He said that he and your father are on their way to this place. To do what? I don't know. I don't know. Come. Susan, place your hand on this Bible and swear to me that you're not going to tell them that I'm hiding here. Ivy? Are you out of your mind? You want me to place my hand on a holy bible and swear to you that I would like to... My goodness! Ivy, listen. You are a reverend sister. For God's sake, you shouldn't be doing this. How can I swear with the holy bible? My goodness, what are you doing? I would rather die by my own hands than to be killed by my own father and brother. In my family house? Oh, swear to me. No. If you don't want me to no. do this, swear to me. Swear, Susan. In count of three, if you don't swear to me, I'm going to kill myself. Okay, 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 fine. I'll swear. But not with the Bible. Please. Not with the Holy Bible. I will swear with the Bible. I'll swear with my own. Go ahead. Go ahead, Susan. Go ahead. You don't believe me, sir. Why would I lie? Okay, here's my cell phone. Check the dial that received calls log. I told you that the last time I spoke with Ivy was five days ago. You mean Ivy never came here since yesterday at all? <laughs> Why would I lie to you, sir? Is that to say we can um, search the house? Search the house? Oh. Nelson, you mean I've been telling you lies all this while? I mean, what do I stand to gain? Come on, what is going on? Oh my God. Is Ivy in some kind of trouble? Uh, no. Uh, sorry we disturbed you. Let's go, son. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know.
further, I would suggest we lay a formal complaint to the police and declare her missing. No way. But Father, we've searched for her virtually everywhere in the city to no avail. Even the passenger logs of all the airlines operating in the East African sub-region did not turn her name as one of their passengers on any of their flights. What does that tell you, Father? Oh, nothing except for the fact that uh, she might have changed her name and gone to Ethiopia through other means of transportation. Or uh, it's hiding somewhere here in South Africa. Look, but I'm truly convinced that she's into some kind of scandalous mess and she's hiding from us yeah, because of what we might do to I forget to know. So, Father, what are you suggesting? That we fold our hands and watch this drama unfold. That is not an option at all, Nelson. Look, I, I'm not just anybody. I am a well-respected Catholic faithful, a political power broker and a business mogul known all over this country and beyond. My opinion is sought for by virtually everybody, government, organization, and people in virtually everything in this country. Look, I did not get to where I am today overnight. I worked hard for it. I made sacrifices, including taking human lives. Lives, not life. I will never allow anybody due to act of carelessness to destroy all that overnight. Not Ivy. Not even you. Father, we are talking about a situation that has the potential to destroy everything. And you are, you, you... No, no, go, uh, relax, son. Oh, Ivy knows me too well to do any stupid thing. She knows what I'm capable of doing, even more than you do. Believe me, she will come back home soon. But father, what if she does or says anything publicly that ends up destroying everything you've ever built and worked for all your life before coming back? That is, if ever she will. She dares not, Nelson. She dares not. She knows that with these bare hands of mine, I will strangle her to death. If she dares. <laughs> Look, she, she knows that too well. And I'm sure she will do too. Nobody toys with Sa Utobo Mentenge's public image and leaves to tell the story. I have never allowed that. And... I will never allow it this time around with Ivy. Never! Ah. Honestly, Ivy, you've shown real bravery in all of this. Especially your decision to keep the baby. 99% of women in your situation would have opted for an abortion even before they thought he hears about it. Because of that, I am so, so proud of you. On the other hand, by refusing to go home and boldly face the consequences of what you've done, I think that is cowardice on your own part. It is not, Susie. My father that I know will kill and dispose of me the moment he gets to know that I'm pregnant. That man would rather be childless than to have any scandal connected to him through us, his children. That is how arrogant and self-centered he is. <laughs> how do you know that for sure? I mean, how do you know that he will not show you some understanding or maybe send you overseas if protecting his public image is such a big deal to him? See, my mom died in a ghastly auto crash and was born to beyond recognition with a man. Do you know who that man is? If I remember correctly, my mother said it was her driver. I've never told you this before. My mom was having an affair with a man. And my father had two of them murdered. 
The accident was organized by a man paid by my father to prevent the affair from going public. My father had a disease that rendered him impotent after I was born. But even at that, he refused to understand that. He refused that to understand that my, my, my young mother had feelings and I'm not saying that it was an ideal thing for her to be dating a personal driver, but please stop, stop, stop. It's okay. I mean, you were only eight years old when this happened. How come you know all this? I worked in him when he was paying the man that organized the accident and I had everything that he said. But even at that innocent age, my father put a gun on my neck and threatened to kill me if I should tell anyone. Mr. Mark, you came highly recommended as a prophet high. Thank you, sir. In this file are our photographs and our comprehensive personal data, including our detailed activities in the past 10 years. I want our found and I want it done in utmost secrecy. Costa it done, sir. Now, if I find her, what should I do? If you do, don't let her know that you're looking for her. Just report back to me, and that will be the end of our deal. I see. Now you said I should start the search for her here in South Africa, when she stated in the note she left behind that she was going to Ethiopia. Do you have any reason to suspect that she lied? Mm. Mr. Mack, in this search, believe nothing. Rule out no possibility and believe nobody's words. What I say or think is not important. Just find out for me, okay? Okay. As I told you earlier, sir, all the expenses will be borne by you and that is outside my stated fee which I must have half of before I start the search. All right, uh, Nelson? Forget me my checkbook, lad. Yes, sir. Um, you know, all I want is good job, OK? What are you doing in my house? Well, sir, my name is Rochas Okeke, a crown prince of Abama Kingdom in Nigeria, and he is my cousin. Um, please, sir, are you Otobu Matenge? I hope I got the pronunciation. Matenge. Matenge. Yes, I am. How may I help you? Oh, what do I offer you? Well, so, um, we are okay. Thank you very much. Yes, Your Highness. To what do I owe this royal visit from far away in Nigeria? Well, first of all, let me thank you for granting us audience. I know I was like to have strange people in your home. Uh, our purpose really is to find out about a particular lady that is very special to me. We got information that she is your daughter. My daughter? Yes, sir. Well, I have an only daughter and I doubt if she's the one you're looking for. Well, why would you say that, sir? Ivy, my daughter, is an ordained Catholic nun. <laughs> 
Well, sir, that means we are in the right place because the lady we're looking for is also called Ivy and she's a, she's a nun. She worked at an orphanage back in, in Nigeria, Lagos. And, and uh, she, she, she's a very special lady to me. Um, until she returned to South Africa recently. This is the place, sir. And you are here looking for her. For what, if I may ask? Well, sir, your daughter is very special to me. Very special lady, very sweet lady. We got deeply involved and sexually involved as well uh, until she returned to South Africa um, when I had to go and bury my father. Wait, are you here to see me or what? No, sir. Absolutely not, sir. As a matter of fact, I'm here, but we are here to humbly ask your daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, you are here to ask for the hand of a nun in marriage? Yes, sir. And you said you are a prince of an African kingdom? Absolutely, precisely, sir. Okay, <laughs> wait, let me call out for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm very Thank you, sir. I'm very glad. My daughter! Sing the idiot for yourself, son. Nelson! Nelson, you have all the time in the whole world to smash this stupid heads. Not now, please. Let me paint this wall with your brains. Come down. Now, tell me where my daughter is, you bastards! Sir, that is why we are in South Africa, to, to meet up with him. Are you trying to tell me that you came all the way to South Africa in search of my sister? I swear to God, you will find your death instead if you do not tell me where you sent my sister to. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying you don't know where Ivy is? Ah! Oh, for God's sake, is the crap for the ah! Alex. Alex? 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 Oh my God. This is just the beginning, unless you tell me where my daughter is. Nelson will be back with a bowl of water and a piece of cloth to wash and tie the idiot wound. If you let him die in your hand, will force you to dig his grave and bury him in my orchard later tonight. Let's go, son. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Going, Nelson. Dad, we are being too soft on those bastards. Permit me to go down to that cell and slit the throat of the other guy before his useless prince. Perhaps that will make him understand how serious we are. They are lying, Dad. They know exactly where Ivy is. She could even be in his cost home in Nigeria. What if it turned out that they are not lying in the end? That they are lying. They are lying. Father, that bastard deliberately talked my naive sister into agreeing to be defiled by him. He must have convinced her to agree to marry him. He only came here, Father, because as a prince, his culture 
wouldn't let him live with her without her consent. Ivy must have told him the type of person that you are. And that is why he's here to test the waters. He actually came to know how you would take the news, Father. Mm -hmm. If your theory is right, Nelson, then he and his colleague are already dead men. Nobody, nobody, nobody plays such an expensive prank with my own daughter and leaves. Oh, no, 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 not with, with, with the kind of dirty scandal it will give rise to. Oh, but there will not be silence as you want until they tell us everything they know about Hivey's whereabout. Or we find out ourselves. Killing them and not getting and killing Ivy, if your theory is correct, uh, will eventually give rise to the very thing we've been running away from, scandal. And she will bring down heaven on us. And that is not acceptable. Caution, son. Caution. Well, make myself clear. that you have placed us under. Father, did you hear that? Do you know the implications of what you just said? You said you don't know where Ivy is. Why don't you just release us so we can go in search of her? Because what you're doing will lead us nowhere, believe me. Is that what you think? Well, for refusing this food, you are going to be without food or water for the next seven days. What? You can't do it. Tell us where Ivy is if you want to survive this. Idiots! You said that you and your family are some of the most prominent Catholics in South Africa. What kind of Christians are you? You do not shut that hole in your face, pretty boy. I swear to God, I am definitely going to make you pretty, I swear to God. Ah! Yeah, they were. 